Thank you very much to Mary in California who emailed me with a bit of a challenge. Mary brought to my attention the fact that people may sometimes get a little bit lost or confused as to what tickets they have already purchased and what tickets they haven't already purchased. And I don't want people to miss out. And equally, I don't want people to double book tickets. So what I've introduced into the website is the opportunity for you to log in and see all of the tickets that you have already bought or that are coming up. And I've made it so jolly simple that even someone like me could do it. And that's saying something. If you go onto the website, conversation.co.uk, you'll now see that on the top right hand side, there's a log in button. If you click there and next you have the option of how you would like to log in. So for the first time, you'll need to register if this is the first time you've done it on the website. You can sign up with Google, you can sign up with Facebook, or alternatively, you can sign up with email. As long as it is the same email address that you've used to register for the talks on the website, it will then connect those talks to your account. Once you've registered, you'll then have a pop down menu next to the login and you can look at your profile, your account, or more importantly, you can click on events. When you click on events, you'll then be able to see upcoming events and past events. If all has worked as it should, and if you have used the same email address to register as you have done in the past to buy the talks, it should connect them all together. Now here you can see my upcoming events. In this case, I've just got one upcoming event that I've registered for, which is the 11th of June. You may have 20 or 30 talks that you have bought that are upcoming. As long as you've used the same email address to register on this website, as the email address you use to buy the talks from the website, it will connect the two together. What it can't do is talk to Eventbrite, so it won't show talks that you've booked on Eventbrite. And here's just a quick example of what it looks like when you click on past events, so you can see the things that I have already registered for. And this should really help people who may have, for whatever reason, missed a talk and they can get back in touch with me. I haven't spoken about this much, but on the bottom left hand side of the screen, you'll also see my wallet. And that's where you can add card details to make buying the tickets much quicker, and much slicker. I don't see any of those card details. They're held by the website server. So now you're able to log in. You're able to see the talks that you may have already bought from the website. You can see the talks that are upcoming on the website. The only thing that I'm working on that I know so many of you want is an add to basket feature so that you can add lots and lots of events and talks to one basket. Unfortunately, it's a limitation of event software. They don't allow you to add things to baskets in the same way that you would a normal product. But I am aware it's something you want. And here is all of the ways in which you can engage. Thank you again to Mary in California for bringing that to my attention. And I hope this is useful just to make those things a little bit 